this customer, Bob Prestridge, he's an awesome customer. He yeah. called me and he was like, hey, uh, I talked to Aaron and he said that Sid's building my bike. And I said, yeah. He's like, who's Sid? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> I hired him a couple days ago, but he seems all right. It seems okay. <laughs> I haven't missed a day yet. We talked for like a year, right? Before Something like that, yeah. Here. And now it's, I've been here. Uh... And he was like, please <laughs> bring me to America. Please Save bring me, me to America. Save me. <laughs> something like, I don't think it was exactly like that, but it was something like that. I got to go dig through this stuff and find this stuff. Yeah, manifested. Which is kind of, that's how it kind of works, you know? I turn around, all of a sudden, there's a blue bike. The motor mount, what it is. I have no idea what the bike is. Is there another box that we know of? Are you talking to me right now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for moral support. It doesn't mar anything. No, no, I got that. You want, oh, you want to cut it? So I want to cut it? it. Look, hey, come here, cameraman, pro tip. See, when you have these, Christmas tree zip ties, if you just get a nice side cutter and cut the top off, you just put another zip tie through it. And then it's like a, a zip tie holding zip tie. A zip tie holding zip tie. Cause zip ties yeah. tie. Yeah, that's good. Like, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Hold on. Look at his face. You can tell it's heavy. It's a little bit heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Stand there and hold it for another 15 yeah, minutes. That. Got it. I got this side. You got that side? Yep. Got this side. I need a, uh, 5 sixteenths, Alan. I like using power tools, but this is quaint. It's battery powered, okay? I have a gas powered one, but we're out of diesel. It's a nice torque wrench. It is a very nice torque wrench. You should get one of your own, <laughs> because this one's mine. <laughs> the nut. When, when you put this in slow motion, put the, oh yeah, in slow motion too. <laughs> So this 135 has the MHP lightning rods, which are lightened, and they have these cute little teardrops. See it? It's so cute. Oh, yeah. Those are the teardrops of strength. Teardrops of strength. <laughs> I like that. Reinforced metal right there, so it's some, a place that you can lighten a little bit of load, and it looks spectacular. It does look spectacular. Because wow. looks are 80% of the game. All right, I Sweet. Easy. We're gonna button up this case, and then we will be back with pistons, cylinders, and stuff. And we got cam stuff, and we got like primary stuff, and exhaust stuff, head stuff, and uh, titanium head, titanium yeah. valves. Yeah. I gotta go back in the box. <laughs> well, because we're reusing this 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 cam plate and uh, pump, I'm just gonna take everything apart, clean it really good, make sure everything feels good, no no binding and all that. Because uh, there was actually nothing wrong with this, but the guy's going with a bigger motor now. So he went from a 131 to a 135. So I just want to go through everything, clean it really good, make sure that there's no marring or scoring anywhere, and that all the pieces are uh, still intact and still good. Now that we've got the uh, case in, we got the primary done. Now we're going to move on to the cam. That's the cam compartment. A brand new Faye D8. So with this build, Mr. Prestridge, he has a 131 and we did a 538 fuel and cam in it already. And now he just has to have more because that's what everybody wants. But let's get to work installing these. Come on, Sid, get to it. Sid, Sid. What's up? Sid, what's up? Sid, Sid, Sid. So a lot of people like, they're like, oh, I want you to build my bike. Well, I can't anymore because I have to stand like this. Well, those, well everybody else is building. So you come with me. Jordan's building the bike. I don't know where Jordan is, but look. See, I walked away from Shane, and now he's just seeing if his flashlight works. So Jordan's at lunch, which is why I'm standing over Sid. We've been away for a long time. We should probably go back. <laughs> there you oh, go. See that? See how it just oozes? Mm. Sid. Yes, sir. Have you ever had Turkish delights? Uh, what the hell is that? That sounds familiar. They Turkish are delight, an you speak of. ancient candy made of real food. Hold on, I'll be right back. These are Turkish delights. Try one. Last time you told me to try something, my mouth was on fire for like three hours. These are sweet. And I was crying and you were laughing at everybody. Well, that was funny. <laughs> it's good. Really good, really good, isn't it? So we're using a lot of his parts, you know, like his cam plate, his oil pump, because we don't need to, uh, he's already upgraded all that. 
which is the one nice thing is whole primary. Same existing primary is going to go into this build. Um, you know, we're just changing out the cam and the lifters and that, and that bearing, the flywheel, of course. And we're going to finish installing this, and then we will get to the cylinders and heads and go over those. Ah, uh, Megadeth. This might be one of the best songs they've ever written. This? Yeah. Tornado Souls? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, this song and the rest of their catalog. I mean, eh, they're okay. I don't know. We can go that far. Now, I do like music without guitars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I can't even say it. It's <laughs> Check it. That you have less than 10,000 space between the two gears. That's why there's all a different one of these. You cannot put these in a vending machine. That'd be awesome if you could. You can't. If they were currency, boy. Solid? We'd all be living in Barbados. So we always use the old bolts when we do that. That way, when we get the new ones out, because they have fresh lock patch, you know, you don't, this doesn't really matter. We're only tightening it just to do the, the check. So now we're going to put the spiffy new sprocket retention kit. Part number 25566-06. A little funny bit of information about Harley Davidson. These older part numbers that used to be super awesome, the dash 06, it was the first year that they used that part number. So some of these part numbers are old, like I think the neck bearings are dash 51, right? Something like that. Oh, know. the the uh, brake light switch, rear brake light switch is a, is a dash 51 part number. So they've been using a rendition of that same switch since 1951. So the difference between the two gears, this is the, the OEM cam gear. This is the uh, fueling setup. And if you notice, when you put this on, slides right on. And it has a little bit of play. Now, I know it's not much, but I would say that that's probably one or two degrees. So that means wherever this gets tightened, and if it's under heavy load, maybe it flips a little bit this way and your timing changes by one degree. Because this way, your timing's at one degree different. Whereas this one is a light press fit, it doesn't go all the way on, and there's no movement. That's why we use this upgraded gear. It is just so that we can be as precise as possible, because that's good. Because that's good. Because that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. And they're the same width, so it doesn't matter which one. You know, I, I like to do. I like to do my my uh, space check with the OEM one because it's easier to get on and off. They're the, I mean, they're built to the same dimensions, so, and even if it is 1,000th off, it's not gonna matter. You have 10,000th worth of, worth of uh, give on the space between those two gears. Oh, Metallica, when they were good. Remember when they were good? I remember when they were good. But when they were good, they were really good. They were good. They were like all the way good. Yeah, then they cut their hair and got all the way not good. Yeah. Lars started thinking he was good enough that he could stand up while he played the drums. He couldn't really even play the drums sitting down. I think I know, he should have mastered it thought, that way. But then he was like, yeah, but now I can stand up and I'm gonna paint, <laughs> I'm gonna paint while I drum. So let yeah. us know, let Lars. Us know in the, let us know yeah. in the comments, Lars. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, listen, bro, it's over at <laughs> yeah, yeah. Moonshine Harley Davidson. I don't whine, okay? <laughs> it's not very cool to talk <laughs> bad about Metallica. I was talking about this yesterday, how the Christmas tree zip tie trick. Serve pro, like it never even happened. I torque one, and I come back here, I do this, torque this one, then I spin it a more over like 112 times. 112 times. Exactly 112. It's very important you get that exact number. Okay. We're gonna count 112 times. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One hundred and twelve. Ah, Tight. It's a lot of turns. Nice and smooth. Get a bonnet. Can I see what I'm doing? And that is why we make the medium bucks. <laughs> <laughs> the Frankenstein MHP. Two point five millimeter heads. 
One thing I want to note on these heads right away, you see this bright red sticker. It's a warning sticker. Because if you don't want to go fast, you've been <laughs> warned. These heads have titanium intake valves. You'll notice this fancy little, little shindig here. These have lash caps for the titanium valves to protect them. Now you have to run them with these caps on the intake valves, on the titanium valves, and we'll show that during the installation. We'll show them being installed. You know, we do a lot of work with Frankenstein and they build the heads exclusively for us. And man, Chris and his team, those guys are just awesome. Oh yes. This is the titanium intake valves right here. Blue valve guides. Big square ports. The heads of power. All the balls right here. Now in these total build videos, you know, I don't really get too technical because we have technical videos. And I kind of do the videos for fun. Just so you know, we, uh, we take the stock cylinder sleeves, punch out the stock insert bore the sleeve and put our own inserts in so we've got a real nice thick cylinder wall. Hey, look at this. Sweet pissing. You take it off any sweet jumps. You got a little, got a little die cast bicycle or something? No. <laughs> I'll bring one though, now that I know I need one. Yeah, one of those, little, those little skateboards. Yeah. All right, we're going to uh, measure these rings, get them all cut, total seal, gas port rings, <laughs> very nice. All right, we are going to inspect all this and cut the rings and we'll be right back. So an another thing that we do on these big builds is we like to uh, we measure the uh, deck height. So we put the cylinders in and we kind of mock it up and then we see where the piston sits in relation to the deck of the cylinder and the head so that we can make sure that the, comp the compression level is gonna be what we wanted it to be if we need to go with a little bit bigger or a little smaller. This one is six and a half inches out of the hole. That's perfect. Oh, the burn. Am I at zero? Negative four. 15 and four and 17 and eight and 16 and four and get zero. Jess Bucker! Shader copy. Cash to power. Cometic, they're, uh, they're Italian. <laughs> Nobody knows who Miss Jess Bucker is. Let's, you know what? In the original Superman, Lex Luthor, <laughs> Lex Luthor, who was played by Gene Hackman, yep. his secretary is Miss Chessbucker, remember? And he'd be like, Miss Chessbucker! All right, so okay, I'm gonna cut okay. now we're gonna cut the rings. I'm gonna cut the rings and... We're gonna the cut them rings. So we're gonna measure and cut them so that they measure <laughs> right where we want. Take four thousandths off. <laughs> Stick your tongue out when you work. I usually do. I feel like we're prepared. The hoses of power. <laughs> this is how you protect your power. Guns and hoses. What do you mean I don't support the system? I go to court when I have to. Let, let me ask you something. Can you put a price on peace? Can you put a price on peace? <laughs> Cylinders of power. Huh? Oh God. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one. To the heads of power. This is the doohickey. This is the chingus. The chingus. <laughs> that gator is good. Cut it. Like, or it's not. These are the caps of power. So these protect the titanium tips. Create a little buffer between that and the rocker. And when you put them on there, they're kind of tricky, but watch this. You should hear like a audible click. 
which didn't, but I felt it. I, <laughs> I have an audible feel. Just on you, you had your finger on it, saying that was hard for me to reach. Yeah, I gotta get four fingers oh, on oh, it. Oh, oh. Oh. Did you pick it up? I think so. Start over, take it back down. <laughs> <laughs> so after we snap them on, we make sure they're firm, you know, give it a little twist your fingers. Now we will assemble, assemble the rocker arms and, you know, all you YouTube, I mean, we've gone over a lot of this stuff a lot of times, like the square port intake, all that. You know, there's a video on that square port intake, the two nap valve heads. We're going to kind of fast forward, finish the assembly, and we will be back and then we'll see you in the dyno. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. All right, well, so we're gonna do this one a little bit different than we have done in the past because Bob was kind of in a rush to ride his motorcycle and uh, didn't wait for Randy to get back from the Bahamas filming his the swimsuit issue with Justin Bieber. Oh, Bieber so, Fieber. Bieber. God, love Bieber the Fieber. You gotta love the Bieber. <laughs> gotta Biebers. love the Bieber. So anyway, this bike rocked, dude. Did a good job. Yeah, it came so, out really nice. A little bit, I don't know if we talked earlier in the video about Bob Prestridge, he bought a stock bike and then he did a Screaming Eagle 131, came to us, man, about a year and a half ago, I think, two years ago, and we put a 538 cam in it and dyno tuned it, and that is the second part of the graph, which you're gonna see right here, the blue line. So that made 148 foot-pounds of torque and 143 horsepower, not too shabby, and he rode it around, kind of got used to it, and said, I hear you got some New York blood up there. I want him to build me a 135. And I said, That's right. It's the man. This yeah, is the man. The New York blood. Do your AI voice. I can't do the AI voice because it's so bad that it, it doesn't it doesn't even sound anything like my voice. It sounds like somebody completely different. I don't know. How, who, did, how did how did we get this AI voice? <laughs> <laughs> he made me read a card and then after that I don't know what happened. <laughs> can we can we cue the AI voice right here? Yeah. Okay, let's do that right now. Hello, my name is Sid. I build MHP monsters at Moonshine Harley Davidson. MVO is the best boss ever. So after we built the 135, we kept its exhaust. Um, we went to a different intake manifold, but uh, the exhaust, all that was the same. We kept its cam plate, to it, all that. We switched out the, we had the case board, did the 135, different heads, different cam. And if you look now, it just, came alive, 157 foot-pounds of torque and 170 horsepower. Yeah, that bike was a lot of fun to ride. It's a lot of fun to ride? Yeah, it was a lot of fun to ride. I think that's what I super power, super that's what Bob says. Yeah, me as well. I'm a little nervous. He might be like, this is the worst thing I've ever rode in my life. Well, he got on the bike and said, man, I gotta take a trip. And I said, well, you know, go do a test ride and come back to us, how And he's like, buddy, I'm, I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Let me know how it goes with the, uh, the numbers and all that. I gotta go, and he took off. And so. I haven't heard from him since. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think he's put a <laughs> thousand miles on it or so now, so. Oh man. Is the war started? <laughs> I don't know what's that. Something's going on. <laughs> Steelers are gonna do good this year, I can feel oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby there? Yep. All right, you are on speakerphone here with me and Sid. How are you, sir? Cool, I'm good. So how many miles you put on the bike so far? Almost 2,000. 2,000 oh. miles. See, I told you he was wow. in a hurry. Yeah. Yeah. You got that really fast. Yeah. So what do you think? Well, I nicknamed it Spooky. Ooh. Yeah, when I got home from up there, I, I, dro I drove uh, in that fog and cloud bank. And um, there were a couple times, and I got traction control on that bike, but there were a couple times when um, the rear end got a little squirrely on me, uh, you know, just accelerating. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I was trying to feather the throttle too. Uh, because the throttle's very, uh, very sensitive. So anyway, I drove all the way. I came through Mississippi, some of the back roads, and I'm, I got over there on a country road. And it was a very, very long straightaway. And um, I don't know, I was in sixth gear. I was overdriving, and, and I guess I was bored. I said, okay, I'm just going to see. I'm going to see if I just roll on the throttle, what it would, you know. 
will do. So I did, and I'm, I mean, and just, I mean, I really wasn't paying attention to how far the distance was, but it was not very far. And I was at 140, and it was climbing. Um, it, it, it didn't have a top end. I mean, that sucker was pulling the entire way. So, uh, yeah, it's that motor is a beast, to say the least. And you can kind of see that on the dyno sheet when you look at the horsepower part on the dyno. I mean, it just, it's, you've got peak peak power at 6,500, but it's 170 horsepower at 6,500, and it's flat after that until you just chop the throttle. It's crazy. So you just let it go, yeah. <laughs> so what yeah. was... Uh, what was it? So, so, you know, you're kind of in a unique position because you started with a stock bike and then you went from that to a Screaming Eagle 131. We kind of talked about that already in the video. And then we put the 538 cam and then we went this route. So, like, what, how different has each iteration been? So, like, do you remember what it was like when it was stock? I never rode it stock. So, you got it, you took it from the original dealership with the Harley 131. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so the story is, and I can, I'll try to make it short, but the story is I had a 15 Road Glide Special that, uh, 103 that I've done some work to, and the, and the motor was, uh, I mean, it was a cherry motor. It was great. And, um, I wrecked. I had a high speed wobble in Texas and, um, wound up in the hospital, broken arm. That was it. I had on all my protective gear. So for everybody out there that, thinks they can ride without a helmet on all it takes is one time so uh yeah um i was probably doing about 70 when it kicked me and what what kicked me was i ran off the side of the road on, on a texas road that didn't have a shoulder and it was about a 10 foot drop off and and uh, my crash bar caught the ground and flipped me so uh anyway i went from that to a 2022 model and doing the research, I knew that I wanted, you know, it was a 114, I knew I wanted some more horsepower, so, and some torque. So, in order to keep the Harley warranty going, I just said, hey, put the 131 kit in it. And that was with another dealer. Um, had issues with it. Doing some research. Um, buddy of mine who also has a moonshine motor, Todd Edwards, we were, we we're just kind of, gearhead geeks and we did some research and found you guys and so i called jamie one day and was talking to him and i guess you'd say the rest is history yeah so w what happened to me is i was blowing head gaskets on that 131 and so um i think we replaced what three three head gaskets i think what was all over with and then finally on this last time we were riding in april we rode uh, Route 66 from St. Louis to California, and coming back, I I, I felt it. It was like it was it had lost some power. So brought it up to you guys, and uh, of course you probably talked about this in the video too. But the um, the cylinder stud that pulled threads out of the out of the uh, out of the case. Mm -hmm. So I just made the decision after you know some back and forth with you that we would just take it all down and and start over so from the original screaming eagle 131 to just putting the 538 cam and tuning it that that was a pretty noticeable difference in in yeah. power and handling yeah. right absolutely yeah absolutely every time that something's been done to it after that initial job it, it has been a noticeable improvement but going from what i had to the to this motor 135 it there's no comparison absolutely no comparison this motor it has <laughs> i could probably pull a car with it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it, it's the, the 135 is my favorite setup because it's just it's more power than you can than you can handle and it's great for you know, taking trips, just jumping on it and going five, 600 miles, it just purrs at 100 miles an hour. It's like just getting warmed up. Yeah, I mean, I, I can tell you without a doubt 
that um, that is the truth because um, my brother lives in San Antonio so I've, I've been to San Antonio and back on it and you know riding in Texas if you've never ridden in Texas um, traffic flows pretty fast and then you get people out there that that you know want to race and things like that so uh, absolutely that yeah it'll go it will definitely go and and you know that bike <clears throat> the you know the road glide is supposed to be a, a geezer glide as we used to call it but yeah I'm, I'm, won't, I'm not going to let any geezers get on this bike <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, when you do like the, the suspension and put the Krauss setup on there and turn these into performance baggers, they're pretty they're pretty outrageous machines, man. Yeah, you know I've been a fan of Olings for a long time. I've, I've had them on the other bike, and so, but I have to say the the GP suspension up front that we did is superb. Mm -hmm. I, I just it is superb. So. You know, I got the Owings on the rear, and I got those uh, GBs on the front. And man, I can't, I cannot speak enough about how good that suspension is. Yeah, it's it's a really nice setup. It's a really nice bike. Yeah. Well, man, I appreciate you calling in. I know you got a lot to do, and uh, I know it's been a little while since we did this, and the video's late coming, but it's going to be a good one. I think you're going to like it, and I super appreciate you, man. Sure. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay, I Thank can't wait. Thank you very much, sir. Bye-bye. See ya. Well, there you have it. I'm real glad they could pull a car. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a new one. I love the, the part of the story. It's like, yeah, my crash bar, this, and flipped me over. Woke up all discombobulated. Like, so he built a faster, bigger bike. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> that's how you do it. You got to be able to outrun that wobble. You got, yeah, you got to run that wobble. <laughs> How do you do it? Just keep going, man. Yeah, and, and and what's funny is, so when we did his 131, when we put the cam in, it was him and that gentleman, Todd Edwards. We had both their bikes at the same time, and they came to pick him up, and they wanted to kind of hang out while we did it. And it was a couple of years ago in that super bad snowstorm that, like, shut the town down for a week. Oh, wow. So they got here the day it started snowing, and there was nothing open. They were at the hotel right here, and just me and I think Shane and Jordan came to work and that was it. And I, like I had my, basically I got in my Fort Runner and I would just pick them up. Oh, that's cool. And we came in and for three days, there was nothing. So we would come in here, they'd walk over in the snow and we were working on the bikes because we were like, man, these guys are, you know, on press for time. So they were working on the bikes and I was shoveling a path for like to get out of the parking lot. So when the snow finally didn't melt, we'd be able to, to do that and then they, uh, the uh, bowling alley had a guy that was like man enough to come to work in the snow. So every day at about two o'clock, we we'd go over there. It's, there was nothing to eat. There was nowhere. Nowhere was open. So we're like, yeah, we'll go over here. And they had like appetizers and stuff. And he would throw in some appetizers, and we'd have a couple beers and appetizers. And we got to know <laughs> these guys. So that we've become uh, pretty good friends over that over that deal over the next couple of years and we've done a lot of stuff to his buddy Todd and, and his brother's bike you know and he bought his new bike from us we did a 485 and so these are super solid guys and it's nice to have these guys out here that are like big riders you know that's awesome and he when he took it home he called me when he got home and he was like how fast does this go and I was like I don't know I don't know I think I like, top seven like I'm sure it'll do like 140 he's like well it'll hold 140 he's like I had 140 and I was going faster but He's like, I only knew it was 140 because I glanced at my GPS and it said 140. But then I never looked back down again because I was. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, but I was still, I could, I was still giving it gas and it was still accelerating. And he's like, so I, I just didn't know if you knew. And I'm like, no, I, yeah, I'm no with idea. you. I'm not gonna look down if I'm going that fast. No, absolutely not. Wow, that's funny. 140. Wow. Yeah, I he, definitely didn't get it up to 140. And he, and he maintained it at 140 <laughs> for like two miles. Awesome. And I was like, man, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Like, hey, I think it's awesome, but but buddy, you, I don't want you to die. Yeah, come on now. That's awesome. Sweet. I'm glad he's happy. That's awesome. Makes me feel accomplished. Maybe more people now would be like, yo, I want the New Yorker to 
I want that. I want the AI. Yeah, I want the AI. <laughs> <laughs> I want AI to fix my bike. So I think that's it, right? That's yeah. it. That's what it. else do we need to do? That's it. It's a little bit of a different ending. Yeah. I like it. Cool. That's and it. Cut.